Okay, so what I wanted to demonstrate in this video is uh, electron flow versus conventional current using your fingers. So, here we go. Um, let's get into a good position here. Camera reverses left to right for me as I'm looking at it, so excuse me if I move in a funny way. So your fingers are now electrons, you don't need your thumbs. You can try this yourself. And um, what you have to do is an exercise in coordination. You need to move your fingers one at a time, shifting across the screen. Okay, so carefully, carefully, I get a bit, there you see my pinky wants to move by itself or with the next one. So all the fingers have moved across one by one that way. So now I want you to do it again, but this time, in fact, we'll do it as a practice. So here we go, here it goes. Finger, 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 do it with me, finger finger, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, see that last one again is a bit tricky. Now this time, as we move them, instead of focusing on the fingers moving across, I want you to watch the gap between the fingers. Okay, so here we go, watch the gap. Finger goes one way, finger goes one way. Which way is the gap moving? The gap is moving in the other direction to your fingers. Okay, there we go, Got to practice with that one to get it right. So do it one more time and you can watch the gap move. So the gap is the conventional current that they first saw, looking far away, they could see um, the from you know from a distance, not zoomed in, they could see this gap moving. But what was really moving, I'll never get that. <laughs> I'll work on it. I'll get it. What was really moving was uh, the electrons going that way, even though they saw the gap going that way. So thanks. Good demo. Try it yourself. In exams, you can sit there, and you can sit there playing with your fingers and as well as with all your right hand rules and stuff. There we go.